Here I go again, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, doing his daily campaign talk. And this message that I have for you is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. It is fine. I am telling you it is fine. And it's coming to you live from station WEBM. That's wonderful, Eddie B. Marcus, operating smack down from the top of the sky, spiritual level, to wherever you are. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this and feed off it as much as you possibly can. Like the blood that goes through your veins, it will do you good. The message that I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen, is this. I want to see if I can bring some reality to this living we're doing and this campaign for which I'm going. <clears throat> I want you to know I'm not asking you to make me Senator of the United States, hopefully President in 2020, for me. This is not for me. While it is for me, it's not for me alone. What I'm offering to you, ladies and gentlemen, is a gift. A gift from the creative universe. A gift in response to your prayers. That's what I'm offering you. Now, I'm offering this to you because this is your desire. You pray for it. And God is willing for your prayers to be answered. But the responsibility is in your hands. And that's what I'm here to share with you and tell you that it's all about. If, and you must really want these things to happen, but don't think that you are deserving of it. Right now, the people of the United States of, of America chose evil to represent them. All of you who went to the polls, every last one of you who went to the polls voted for evil to control you. Some of you might have thought uh, gave the idea that it's a lesser evil, but evil nonetheless. And so what you have is what you deserve. Maybe you wouldn't have wanted it this way. You wanted a different form of evil. But the people over here got the form of evil that they want. And evil begets evil, and you're going to be divided. You're not going anywhere, so you're not deserving of anything but more of what you are in your own heart. Now, this gift is being put before you because God loves you and God wants to touch you in a very special kind of way. You see where your evil is going and you can't deny it. And you always pointing fingers at others, whether you're pointing it at Trump, Republicans, or Barack Obama, Democrats, or whether you're pointing your fingers at white, or whether you're pointing your fingers at black. As long as you're pointing your fingers, you're never going to get anything done. You're never going to accomplish anything. And there is a power out here somewhere that loves that, that feeds off that, and it controls you by the manipulation of money. Now, I know you've heard that money is the root of all evil, and people have suggested that perhaps it's not the money, it's how people use the money. Well, why don't you just get money out of the way? Then you won't have to point your finger at money, because the only ones that can fix this is you, not your representative, you. Your representative must be you. Because whether you know it or not, whatever he does out there, she does out there, it represents you. Even if you disagree, it's you. So, the purest way is to know that everything belongs to somebody other than you. You're just here in the midst. That's all you are, here in the midst. And all kind of turmoil is happening. We see all kinds of people out there. We see people who want to be extremely good, but remember, good is not good enough, like 99 and a half just want to do. There are people out there who work all the way down to the bottom who don't give a good strut about nothing, but them living the dream, the same dream that you have. But they don't know anything about God. They have rejected any conversation because the conversation and the action did not go along together. This is a reality. This is why they have rejected God. And people who go to church, listening to preachers talk about stories, preachers who don't know God and the people don't know God, this is why we are going to the polls voting for evil. But somewhere deep in your spirit, deep in your being, you recognize that there is something that keeps you wanting to be free, that makes you want to have your dreams come true. And if you were able to see this, if this was ever, ever to happen in your lifetime, you don't see yourself wishing any evil amongst anyone. That's the way every last one of you feels. But you've got to have faith. 
you got to step out on faith. And when I say step out on faith, I'm not talking about believing in some mystical stuff. I'm talking about stepping out on your own faith, making your step, making your step. Let it not be known. Wherever in the futuristic views of time, let it never be known that you be need, that you are part of the problem. Yes, you've always been a part of the problem, but you are also required if there's going to be a solution. And so you step out on your own faith knowing that you going to do your part. You can't speak for anyone else, but you're going to do your part. That's the faith we ask you to step on, not, not the faith of a miracle. No, my friend. We're talking about the simple faith of you standing up for what you say you represent. And believe me, you, if you do that, you'll be surprised how many of you have done it. And you will be surprised how many of you are willing and ready just to know that you are out there. But now you do. And so I want to say to you, this is a gift. But you have to change. Otherwise, you can never receive it. Lying, cheating, and stealing is the way of life that Americans and people of the world have been taught. Terrorism and wars, that's the way Americans have been taught. The biggest stick wins. That's the way the people of the world have been taught. I'm bringing you a new message, a message that has been given throughout time out here, and I have to believe that it has because it's happening now and nothing is new. That all that we want is here. All that we could ever want is here. But we've got to let God be God. No man gets that kind of respect. No woman. No organization, nothing gets that kind of respect but God. And that means that each individual will represent God to the fullness of their understanding. Somebody else might be falling short. It is your understanding that wake them and draw them up. Don't let them fool you back. You can see clear earth. So if you see clear earth, stand clear earth. Now, I think I've said enough for this day. I want you to know that this is a gift from God, not something that you deserve it but something that you pray for and you don't know how to get it. So this message is to invite you to get it. And as always, the choice is yours. But I am Eddie Marcus, a write-in, not on Republican, not a Democrat. you got to write my name in on the ballot to be the next senator. And this message that I'm giving to you is a message I want and will be giving to the world because we want a beautiful world. We don't want no pain and suffering and tears. We, we plan to wipe all that away with the touch of love. Thank you. Bye-bye.